Well, thank you. Thank you. It is a great, great day for the city of good neighbors. <laughs> neighbors, not people divided by highways, but neighbors. That's what we are in Buffalo. I first want to thank Senator Gillibrand for that great introduction. Um, she's a great partner. She has a heart, a brain, a soul, all that works so hard for Western New York, for New York and the country, and we're all lucky to have her. I want to thank our great mayor. He is something who, in his steady, quiet, but relentless way, pushes Buffalo, Buffalo, Buffalo. Thank you, mayor. I want to thank our governor for really, she comes from here, but she hasn't forgot where she came from, as this billion dollar shows damn well. Um, Brian Higgins, very poetic in his speaking these days. He will become the poet laureate of the house and of Buffalo. But that's because he's a great thinker. He's not a doer, but he's also a thinker, and I love that. And uh, I'll introduce Senator, uh, uh, Secretary Buttigieg in a minute. But it's always people, I love when things rise up from the community. That's what happened here with Rock and Stephanie Barber Jeter. It rose up, and so it was so appropriate to ask your rock soulmates to stand uh, and be together because the grassroots is what has to be paid attention to, and that is what's happening. So it is really a great day. Now, this, there isn't usually a crowd as excited as this unless the Sabres break out their throwback black and red jerseys. But today we're celebrating something that's just as big a win for Buffalo as when the Sabres won. The restoration of communities along the Kensington Expressway is going to be one of the most significant infrastructure projects in Buffalo ever, ever. And there have been a lot of them through the centuries. And now, let me show you how important Buffalo is to those of us in Washington, including the Secretary, including the President. This project is one of the very first in the nation to tap the historic Reconnecting Communities program, and it is the largest grant anywhere in America of this program yet. Does Buffalo count? You betcha. Gone are the days that Buffalo's ignored. We got a majority leader, a senator, and a congressman who make sure of that. And that means that this new tree-lined roadway, not just for cars, but it's also going to be for pedestrians and bicyclists. Greenery as far as the eye can see. And I'm not just saying that because it's St. Patrick's Day. It's going to be green every day. And bicyclists, I'm going to ride my bike here when it's done. I'm not a spandex guy. I don't ride at 40 miles an hour. But I love riding my bicycle, and I'll be here doing that. And let's not forget, my favorite word is a four-letter word. J-O-B. Yes. Plenty of good paying jobs and another five letter word about those jobs. U N I O N. Good paying union jobs. <laughs> Building up the community, making good wages to support families so they can have a better place to live in and work in for generations is so important. And this major federal investment puts a national spotlight on Buffalo as a model how America can fix past mistakes, how ruthlessly highways were built dividing communities, how the poor and powerless were often subject to the worst of these consequences. And we're changing that. And a country and a community that can admit there were mistakes, even if they were decades ago, is a bigger, stronger, better country and a bigger, stronger, better community. Yeah. Infrastructure should never again divide our communities. It's supposed to be convenient, a way to make it easier to get to work and shop and take the kids to school. But if you ask anyone here on Buffalo's east side, in East Buffalo, they will tell you that for too long, the hulking walls like Kensington's have not been a connection, but a barrier, a barrier. For decades, 33 stood as a concrete symbol of the city's racial division. A barrier to jobs, a barrier to equity, a barrier to progress.
for the Martin Luther King and Hamlin Park neighborhoods that have been divided since the Kensington Expressway is built. And it's appropriate, and maybe a little bit ironic, that the Expressway is just two blocks from the top supermarket, where 10 people were murdered in a racist attack last year. He went to that neighborhood, that community gathering space, because it was one of the very few oases on the east side, because economic opportunity had been so stifled. But now we're bringing that all back. Today's investment is about building a future. It's about righting past wrongs. The federal government was responsible for segregating neighborhoods like this. Now the federal government has a responsibility to undo that. And that's what this program does under, Mayor, under uh, Secretary Buttigieg's wide leadership. I was so proud to push forward as majority leader and pass the bipartisan infrastructure bill. $1.2 billion, trillion dollars, $1.2 trillion of infrastructure. And I want to tell Buffalo and Western New York, this is a big grant. You're going to see more of them in the future out of the bipartisan infrastructure bill. So, Buffalo is a great community, perfect community for the secretary to recognize because of all the reasons I stated. So now let me do this. You know, I've seen a lot of cabinet secretaries in the years I've been in the Senate. You know, I just won my fifth term. I'm the first New Yorker ever to have five terms in the Senate. Thank you. It's humbling and gives me motivation. But I've seen a lot of cabinet secretaries. Some of them just stick to their desks in Washington. A few of them have no darn idea of what's going on in the rest of the country, the parts they didn't come from. It's rare, though, you get a cabinet secretary who knows the subject, okay. transportation, community development, who knows the people, he was mayor, he knows what it's like, and who has the drive, the intelligence, the strength, the fortitude, and the honor and decency, not just to be a cabinet secretary, but his mission is to get a whole lot done. Today is just one example of the many things that Secretary Buttigieg has done and will do for New York and for Western New York. I don't think we could have a better, I talk to him at least once a week. If we don't talk once a week, something's the matter. <laughs> we could not have a better transportation secretary for Western New York and for the country than what I like to call affectionately Mayor Pete Buttigieg. This guy's great. This guy is great.